Two gorgeous all-American boys, a 13-year-old little boy and his best friend, head to visit their grandmother. But then a sick and stunning twist. Grandma dead. The house ransacked. Missing? Just loose change. Murder for pizza. A parent killer? The grandmother's own 13-year-old little grandson and his little best friend, now co-defendant, these two kids, look at them. They're, they're, they're Justin Bieber look-alikes. They're two all-American little boys. No history of problems. Nothing. They look like two twins. Chief Stephen Riffle, he is joining us from Sheboygan Falls Police Department, the director of public safety, the police chief. Describe to me the scene when EMTs and police arrived. Well, the, the scene was very, uh, uh, I would categorize it as a brutal scene. Uh, it was very difficult to imagine the officers responding initially for an assistance call. Uh, the call initially came in uh, via 911 for a, an issue for a female that needed assistance and was down. And immediately upon the officer's arrival, there was a, a very large amount of evidence to suggest, obviously, that a, a homicide had occurred. And the officers immediately went to secure the, the residence to ensure there were no other victims and the perpetrators weren't there uh, or in the area. And that is the scene that the officers uh, initially responding to saw right away. With me is the police chief, Stephen Riffle. You know, Chief, um, I don't know if you know this, I have twin children, John, David, and Lucy. They're only four. And I was intent on naming Lucy Haley before she was born. But she and I both nearly died in childbirth. And I felt my grandmother with me, who helped raise me, and named her Lucy after my grandmother. And I'm just having a hard time taking in, because I, I'm thinking of my grandmother, that these two young boys could actually go into the home planning a murder. I'm sure that this great grandmother never knew what hit her. I mean, what do we know about the murder? Did she understand what was happening? Was she hit from behind and never knew? What is your theory about what happened, Chief? Well, I think, number one, it's very, very difficult for people to, to grasp this. Uh, I think we're all struggling to understand how two 13-year-olds could be involved in such a, an act. Um, but as far as the information that we've been able to obtain in, in the investigation, and, and you have to understand, obviously, this is still an ongoing investigation. Yes. We're doing a mountain of follow-up. But we believe that, um, based upon the information we have, when they entered the home with the intent to kill her, that is correct, uh, that she immediately had them uh, or offered them to enter the home, and the attack took place immediately after that. And she did, and we do have the information to believe that she did beg for her life while this was taking place. She was initially struck with the blunt end of the hatchet and then uh, the hammer. And finally, as you had described, the hatchet blade uh, embedding it so far into her skull that literally took both boys to pry it out. These two little boys, they look like Justin Bieber lookalikes enter the home of the 78-year-old grandmother and they leave with pizza money after they murder her.